What's up my peeps? So first off, Team Deagle is looking for WrestleMania Plus players and above that want to be a part of a team that's aiming for the top 5 once again in Team PCC this Monday. So if you can get 3k and above or preferably 4k and above points in Team PCC, then go ahead and contact me on Twitter. The link is always in the description box and also... Deagle Club, the newest Deagle team on the scene, and Team Deagle X are also looking for WrestleMania players and above for Team PCC and, you know, all the other events. So even if you don't make it in the original Team Deagle, you can make it in Deagle Club or X, and all three of these teams are going for the top 50. I know we're going for top 5, and I know Club and X are at least going for top 15. So if you want to be a part of a top team in Team PCC, Twitter is the place to be, all right? So moving on to the top teams in Team Rank Domination. This is long overdue. So anyways, at number one, it wasn't Team Deagle X. Actually, it was the newest team on the scene, Deagle Club, getting that number one spot, getting the AJ card, the quickest apart, of course, from the original team. And uh, at number one, we've got Mika with 56 shards. Matthew with 25 shards, Superbad 69ers with 22 shards, and by the way, if you saw this name, Superbad 69ers, and you're like, yo, this seems familiar, like I saw it in another team, that's because he was the leader of Team Deagle 3. And afterwards, we've got Wancho with 20 shards, and Aza 19 with 19 shards. Also, that name might be familiar, that's because he used to be in Team Deagle until he took a break from the game. And when he was in Team Deagle, at one point, he was like the number one guy in Team uh, Ring, not Ring Domination, Road to Glory. All right, so moving on, we've got Team Deagle X taking the number two spot. That means they card, they got, I mean, the AJ card, the second quickest. And at number one, we've got Slime Protector with 64 shards. He got, you know, freaking Nintendo 64 there. Speaking of Slime Protector, man, you might have seen his name on Twitter uh, there was a lot of, like, controversy, people accusing him of hacking all of that. It's basically, he got two Sami Zayn's from the PCC, and, uh, people thought he, you know, used an exploit or whatever, but it was a visual glitch, so if you check right now, he doesn't have two Sami Zayn. well, actually, no, if you check right now, he does have a pro Sami Zayn, but that's because he got the second one from Ring Dom, uh, damn, I keep mixing up Ring Domination and Road to Glory, got the second one, uh, from Road to Glory. And, uh, yeah, basically, when he got that second one from PCC, it disappeared, like, shortly after. So, uh, speaking of Slime, by the way, might have him in a video in the future to, I guess, explain how it happened and defend himself. Afterwards, we've got D-Ray with 24 shards. Then we've got Mark Henry with 20 shards. Justin with 18 shards. And Logan with 18 shards as well. So, can you guys guess which team made the top three? Well, no need to, because it was Apex. Apex made it to the top three, I think, for the second time in a row. So, at number one, we got Jonathan with 27 shards. And then we've got Dennis with 25 shards. Uh, Bila Libu with 21 shards. JJ, 18 shards. And LP Fear, 17 shards. So, that's it for the top three for... Ranked Domination, I was almost going to say Road to Glory there, but no, Ranked Domination. And if you're wondering about the Road to Glory points, I'll show those at the end of the video. So it's not freaking, you know, 10 minutes of screenshots in the beginning of the episode and then the actual video. Alright, so let's actually move on to some gameplay now. Alright, so now that we're actually on to the game, let's go ahead and play some Road to Glory here. Sami Zayn Road to Glory. Kind of got a late start. Actually, not kind of. I really did get a late start. Haven't played much. Currently on Kevin Owens. Zero, uh, zero points into Owens. Now, I didn't show you guys what I got from the PCC. This is what I got. Of course, I got Sami Zayn. And I ranked in the 700 range. So, I also got the Austin support card. As you can see, the Pump It Up support card. Okay, so let's go ahead and... And uh, yes, I'm in the WrestleMania tier here. I will pro this, start this card. I'm just waiting on a couple more power matches. So two more power matches. And then I'm going to go ahead and pro this, start this. And also I've got Cesaro pro uh, But I haven't put him in this deck yet. Actually, you know what? I could go ahead and put him right now and replace this John Cena card. But whatever, we're not going to do it right now. Right now, I'm just focused on, yeah, this start this right here. Just two more matches. And I'm, I should also max out this leader card. Okay, let's go ahead and play. 
Okay, let's go for King of Kings. Oh, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those cards, and then we'll start the Road to Glory. All right, so I'm back. Now let's go ahead and face off against the Deem here with the HBK picture. Hopefully I don't. Well, actually, I probably will run into the card limit after maybe two matches or maybe three matches. I'm try. I'm going to try and not get perfect matches, so that way I don't get any bonus picks, and we don't have to go through me going and deleting some cards or training them. Okay, so tag team, just, let's just go with this and this right now. Uh, going with the two up yellow triangles, just so we don't see the animation of the minus boost or minus 5%. Alright, let's go with Brie Bella here. Also, haven't put the tokens on Brie. Uh, I should put some tokens on her, so I'm going to go ahead and do that later. And as far as AJ goes, I did put the tokens on him, and he's fully trained. Went ahead and put them on power and speed. Okay, so tag team, let's just go with this right here, John Cena and Kane. Uh, still no Stardust. I'm hoping I do get Stardust and the opportunity to put him in the power match. So that way I can finally pro my Stardust card, and that's going to boost up the tier. Not the tier, because we're still going to be in the WrestleMania tier. We're not going to go from WrestleMania to WrestleMania Plus by just, you know, maxing out or proing a pro Stardust and putting him in the Road to Glory deck. Also, like I said, I do have Survivor Pro Cesaro. Okay, so we've got Stardust right here. Uh, since this is a speed match, I'm not going to use Stardust. But I'm hoping that the next match is a power match. Something involving power for Stardust. No, it's not. It's toughness and speed. So we're not going to get one of those matches out the way for now. But maybe the next match. We've got five bouts anyways. I'm pretty sure, you know, within those five bouts, we're going to go ahead and max out Stardust. Okay, so let's just go with Emma right here. And after Emma, we're going to go with this and this right here. Sami Zayn and Randy. Okay, versus Brock Lesnar and the Ultimate Warrior. And then we're going to go with Brie Bella. Okay, well, come on, let's go. Moving on. Oh, bonus pick. We didn't lose a match. I thought we lost a match or something. I guess not. Oh, well, we're going to get the bonus pick. Okay, so we get a title match. We get our truth and David Otonga, Eva Marie. Um, doesn't look like we're going to get anything good or any, you know, rare card or whatever. I'm hoping for a WrestleMania pool. I feel like it's been a while since my last WrestleMania pool. The last WrestleMania pool that I did get was Lita, and you guys can check out when that happened on Twitter. That's why I tell you guys, follow me on Twitter, post some stuff up there that I don't post up on YouTube. Okay, so let's face off against this guy right here with the Ultimate Warrior picture as this loads. Okay, Runo, alright, so let's go. What's it gonna be? Divas match? Nope, Soul Match Power, so we're gonna go with this Roman Reigns. I went ahead and put the PCC picture of Roman Reigns on there. And let's go with this Roman Reigns afterwards. And there we go. And then we're going to go with Lita. And after that, we're just going to go with Brie Bella. Okay. So, come on. Please give me a Stardust match. Let's see. Round two. No Stardust. Okay. Let's go with Taker right here. Versus HPK. Okay. So, we lost the match. because This is Speed and Charisma. So, that's good. We're not going to get a bonus pick. So, we're going to be able to, you know, play some more matches before running into the... Uh, not the wall, but running into the whole car limit reach thing. Now, I'm surprised this guy had two Survivor Pros. Uh, so, that's surprising, especially this early on into... Well, actually, I don't know if that's, if it's that surprising. Alright, we got a Power and Toughness match, and we got Starless, so that's perfect. So, after this, we're going to just need one more Power match, and Starless will be fully trained. So, let's go with HBK. And Sami Zayn here versus Goldust and Edge. And by the way, where are you guys at in Roads to Glory? Are you on the Survivor card, Epic card, WrestleMania card, or did you finish the whole event? Let me know in the comments. Okay, round four of four. Let's go with John Cena. I'm wondering what the next card is going to be, the event card. Like, it can't. I don't think it's going to be AJ versus Roman Reigns. You know, because we've already got so many Roman Reigns event cards. We just got one, like, not too long ago. And AJ Styles was the last ring domination or team ring domination event card. Or just card, WrestleMania card. Uh, so, 
I don't know, like, it, I'm thinking it's gonna be one of the matches on the payback card, but I don't know which one it's gonna be. Not sure. What matches are there, anyways, on the payback card? Whatever it is, I hope it's a left blue triangle or a down yellow, because we've had so many right blues and up yellows that we need down yellows and left blues. At least I do for my exhibition deck. Uh, you know, my tag team situation sucks, so we got an ultra red triple H. I uh, was hoping for a WrestleMania pull, but I guess not yet. Let's go ahead and face off against this guy right here with the Bubba picture. I feel like the Dudley boys are going to split up soon uh, because, was it on Raw or on SmackDown? I think it was on Raw, Bubba accidentally went ahead and b hit a big boot on Devon. So I was like, hey, maybe that's going to be the start of them splitting up. And maybe doing the whole Bully Ray character in the WWE, but obviously it wouldn't be Bully Ray, or maybe, it, nah, it wouldn't. Uh, but, you know, it'd be that character, but with a different name, maybe just Bubba, you know, I don't know. Alright, so let's go with John Cena and Daniel Bryan versus Taker and John Cena. Another Survivor Pro right there. But we're, we're still winning these matches, you know, by landslide. All right, perfect. Another power match. So that means Sardas is now fully trained. Unless somehow we disconnect and this whole thing, <laughs> I don't know, the iPad shuts off or something, shuts off or something like that. All right, so Roman Reigns and The Undertaker. So since he's fully trained now after this match, I'm going to go ahead and pro Sardas live on video. I haven't proed a card on video in such a long time. I think it's been like... I don't know, over a year? I don't I don't think I, I've proed a card in Season 2 at all on... Well, actually, you know what? I might have. I don't know. I might have, so I'll take that back. And Randy hits the RKO. Okay, let's go with Sami Zayn on this. And there we go. And also, I have a King of the Ring Rewards episode for you guys. That should be going up today as well. Let's go ahead and go with Bree here versus Paige. And is this the last round? No, it's not the... This is the last round right here. Okay, so we're going to go with Heath Slater. And afterwards, we're going to go with Kane and HBK. Oh, well, actually, it's a singles match, so... I thought it was going to be a tag team match. Whatever. We're going to go with these two. With, you know, HBK. And then it's a tag team match. So we're going to go with Kane and Andre. And that's going to be it for this match. Once we take them down here, and let's go. And once again, we get a bonus pick. And once again, I was hoping I'd lose a match, so I didn't get that bonus pick. Because I want to go as far as possible without having to, you know. Uh, yeah. All right. So we reached the car limit right here. Uh, let's go ahead and pro star thus. That's actually going to put us in a situation where we can go ahead and play one more match. Because I'm taking away one of the star thus cards. Okay. So everything is played. Let's just go ahead and... And actually, let me go ahead and swap him out here for a second with the other side of this card that I do have. So let's put it at Survivor here. And uh, where is he? Okay, so I guess he's not strong enough to be here. Okay, so there, there we go. Let me just check where I put the tokens. Yeah, so two to speed, two charisma. That's what I'm going to do for the other one too. Let's just go ahead and find him back here. Okay, there we go. Gonna make it the same, just two speed, two, two charisma. Not gonna complicate it, just gonna make it simple. And let's go ahead and confirm these tokens. Okay, so everything seems good. I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that the other one also has everything played. I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, yeah, you know, they're, they're both at the same level. So let's just go ahead and combine these. Uh, okay, so I can't combine them in the Road to Glory deck. So we're just gonna go ahead and go to my cards let's go to survivor where is stardust okay so there we go damn it i can't even combine them here either all right let's go ahead and combine them uh right here okay so that's why okay it was it was locked i don't i don't know why i locked my stardust card usually i only lock the really important ones uh so let's just unlock these and okay so this one's already unlocked and combine let's go ahead and combine this start this card okay great all right now that that's done let's go ahead and go to my epic cards 
and we're actually going to train this Miz card right here with the commons, uncommons, and rares that I picked up from Road to Glory. And the reason why I'm leveling up this epic card rather than Sardust is because it's better that way. <laughs> okay, and let's go to the rare cards. Hit Billy Jim, and I think that's it. That puts us at, uh, yeah, 130. Okay, so let's play these two other matches right here, and that's going to be it. Uh, well, actually, once we're done with these two matches, we're going to get one, one more match after that. Because by the time we're done with these, the other bout's going to pop up. Okay, so we're facing off against Fest. And, alright, Charisma match. We're going to go at Reigns. Not because Reigns has the highest Charisma, but because he's the only yellow triangle here. And then for the Power match, going to go with The Undertaker. Uh, early on in the Road to Glory, I tr like I try to make things go as fast as possible. So I try and when it's a tag team match, I like to match up cards that are the exact same color triangle. And if they're both right, that's that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm I'm not trying to, to create a tag team boost because that slows down the that adds an extra animation to the match, and that slows it down just a tiny little bit. And I'm trying to get through this as quick as possible. Alright, so we... Oh, okay, so we didn't lose this one. I was hoping we'd lose this one so we didn't get a bonus pick, but whatever. Uh, Sardot's decided to, you know, use his ability. Like, it, he uses his ability when I don't need it and I don't want it, but when I want it and need it, they don't use the ability. Okay, so, next match, John Cena. Uh, actually, I wasn't paying attention there. Should've, shouldn't have used John Cena here. Should have used Kane actually, because I know the last match is going to be a tag team match. So, this is what I'm talking about right here. You see this? It adds to the animation because of the whole 10% boost thing. And that's what I mean by slowing it down just a little bit. It's not a major thing, but just, you know, I like to get through this really quickly. Okay, so, let's just go with Ric Flair. And, come on. You know what? This does not look like a chop block at all. It just looks like Ric Flair is giving his opponent a lap dance. And right here, I should have went with, actually, Bubba. And then went with, with uh, Danny Bryan and HBK. And same goes with Andre the Giant when it, when it comes to his special ability. Like, it does not look like, you know, the double underhook suplex. It, like, he's doing the same thing as Flair does. And then at the end, it kind of looks like, you know, suplex. Anyways, yeah, some of these moves, like Brie Bella. Her special ability in the game is the face buster, the, uh, the Bella face buster. No, actually, no, that's not it. It's the Yes Lock. At least it's supposed to be the Yes Lock. It says Yes Lock. But she actually does the Bella Buster instead. She does the knee and then the Bella Buster. So I don't see why it says the Yes Lock. And also speaking of abilities, man, the Rock's ability is way too long. Okay, let's go ahead and... Okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and play this match right here against... Yeah, I feel like we played this guy like in the first match I played. Didn't we play against Adam? I feel like we played against him. I'm pretty sure we played against an Adam with this, the exact same picture. Okay. So, first match, we're going to go with Lita and Brie Bella. Still, you know, it was a great decision to get this Brie Bella card. She's helped me out a lot. Okay. And then let's go with Andre here. I'm, I'm hoping, man, I get a WrestleMania Pro soon. I know I've got this WrestleMania Pro right here, and also this Sami Zayn card, which I'm about to pro once I get the second one from uh, Road to Glory. But I don't know about you guys, but I feel like, like it's more. I get more satisfaction from a normal pro than getting a pro from an event. I feel like it, cause everybody. I feel like at this point, everybody has the event pros. Uh, there's so many people that have them, but. Having a pro, I don't know, WrestleMania Kane or pro WrestleMania Rebella, whatever. It's a lot less common than having a pro Andre. Or at least that's the way it's... Like, I, I see a lot more Andres than I see normal WrestleMania pros. Uh, so, I just like, you know, the normal pros instead. But of course, you know, the event pros are much stronger. A lot stronger. Okay, so uh, we're going to go with John Cena and HBK. I know the last match, 
in this round it's gonna be a tag team match so i'm gonna get a tag team boost when it comes to flare and heath slater because you know heath's a down yellow okay so it's not a tag team match i'm surprised there so brick flare versus john cena moving on let's go with heath slater versus bubba ray the good thing is we lost the match here uh so we're not gonna get a bonus pick so we're gonna get to play that last match without having to you know uh reload not, what am i talking about reload without having to go ahead and train some cards or level up some cards because we reached the damn card limit and i don't understand why they haven't increased the card limit actually since they've added a new tier the wrestlemania tier Okay, let's go. Kane versus Sheamus, and that's it. So, let's see. Maybe I get a WrestleMania pull now. Probably not. Uh, I just feel like it's been a while, but maybe it hasn't been a while. Maybe it's just... Okay, so title match, that's good. These are always good. And Connor. Okay. And let's go ahead and play this last match against Austin. All right, Austin, we coming for you. Seth Rollins versus Seth Rollins. All right, so we're going to go with Emma in the first match. And Emma actually has been a good card. Uh, just because she's a left blue triangle. Or no, is she is she a right or a... No, she's a right blue triangle. Yeah, because she's a right blue triangle. So she tags up nice, nicely with my PCC Brie Bella. Uh, so I'm kind of glad that I did get Emma as the card there, my freebie. But, you know, Nikki Bella would have been better because she's the best WrestleMania card. But still happy that it was a uh, right blue triangle. Okay, so for this match, we're going to go with Randy. And it's against Edge. We're not going to lose this one. Um, and we're going to go with Roman Reigns here versus The Undertaker. And then we're going to go with Stardust because that's the only choice we've got. And uh, by the way, after this, I'm going to join a King of the Ring. Um, uh, I don't know if I, I don't think I'm going to make any subscribers King of the Ring. Also, I might. It's been a while. Actually, you know what? In the comment section, let me know. Actually, no. No, I'm not going to make any subscribers King of the Ring. Maybe not this one. Um, because I want to join it as soon as possible. And if I go ahead and wait for you guys to, you know, leave some comments and see the feedback or whatever. Actually, you guys will probably be like, yeah, making any subscribers King of the Ring. I don't know. I might make it. I might not. Follow me on Twitter, I guess. <laughs> I'll let you know if I decide to make it a subscriber King of the Ring there. Yeah, if I do, it's going to be a Survivor subscriber King of the Ring. It's not, it's not, it's not going to be a WrestleMania one. Even though I want to start a WrestleMania you know, King of the Ring, um, I feel like I, I, I'd get destroyed in that. Uh, you guys saw me play the first WrestleMania King of the Ring, and that didn't turn out too well. Uh, so, I don't think I'm going to be joining a WrestleMania King of the Ring until I get some more WrestleMania pros. Not just event pros, but normal WrestleMania pros too. Okay, so is this the last round? Is it? Or is it? Okay, yeah, so it is the last round. Okay, so that's it. That's it for Road to Glory. 60 points into Kevin Owens. And I think at this point, we're going to reach the card limit once again. Let's see. And one more card. All right, so we didn't reach the card limit. All right, so that's it. So um, that's it for the gameplay portion. I'm going to go ahead and move on now to the top three teams in the team uh, Road to Glory. Actually, before we get to the top three, I thought I'd show you guys how Team Deagle did. So first off, I got 1,087 points. And then Rain got 588 points. Hoagie got 372 Ben got 342, and Omar got 340. We got Christian with about a little over 8 hours remaining. I feel we should have gotten Christian a lot sooner, and I feel like it should have been impossible for me to get over 1k points. And that's one of the reasons, or a few of the reasons, why Team Digo is not looking for WrestleMania players, or WrestleMania Plus players, and above. Anyways, moving on to the actual top three, the other Team Deagles. So first up on the list is Peter with 910 points, D-Ray with 678, Justin with 470 points, Mark Henry with 339 points, and BC Boy with 287 points. So Team Deagle X takes back the number one spot on the same episode. So they remain undefeated in Team Road to Glory and Team PCC, but... I will say this, out of all the team events since Team Deagle X got created, 
this was the closest one yet because the top two and top three teams were so close to beating TDX in this one. They both had a an advantage, or they both were ahead of TDX for a good portion of the event. They got to Christian quicker, but once they got to Christian, that's when the other teams really started to slow down. While for Team Diglex, there's no such thing as a wall. That wall is just a freaking cardboard. So they go through it, and they always end up finishing. So TDX got Christian once again being the only other Team Deagle to get the, the main card. But the top two team was really close to beating them. So we got Mika with 709 points, Jake with 493 points, and then we've got Wancho with 396 points, Simon with 374 points, and Hem Harry with 371 points. That's Deagle Club, the newest team on the scene. And, you know, they've been pretty impressive since debuting. I mean, they get the first spot in Team RD, their first team event. And now, the top two spot in Team Road to Glory. So we'll see what happens in Team PCC. It's going to be Club versus X. And then when it comes to the top three, or the number three team, that is Team Deagle Apex. So when it comes to Apex, we got Jonathan at number one with 757 points, It's Def with 565 points, PCP with 415, Propol 233, and Dennis at 223. Now, Apex is also looking for WrestleMania Plus players and above, uh, because a lot of the players, or a bunch of the players, got you know low points in Team RTG, so they're replacing those members with more active members. And of course, you know, active and higher tier is always preferred over active and not so higher tier. So once again, Twitter's the place to be, or Twitter's the place to hit me up if you are looking for a WrestleMania team or even a Survivor Plus Plus team or Survivor team. Yeah, so Team Deagle's looking for players that can get 3K and above or preferably 4K and above in Team PCC. Team Deagle Apex is mostly a Team RD and Team RTG team. So if you don't like Team PCC, this is the perfect WrestleMania team for you. And X actually isn't looking for members, but Club might be looking also for some WrestleMania players and above, maybe even WrestleMania Plus players that can get 3K points in Team PCC or more. So that's it for this video, and for those of you wondering about my career, it will be back within the next couple of days, maybe even tomorrow. Not guaranteeing tomorrow, but in the next couple of days, it will be back, and it will be back for good on an almost daily basis. Hope you guys enjoyed this. With that said, I'm out. See ya.